Production budget. We're going to put a budget together which would be a real uh, budget if you were hiring your camera equipment and studios etc for broadcast quality productions. So for this one we're going to be visiting some uh, higher places where you can hire cameras etc. So budget is divided into two parts. There's one we call above the line and this is all the uh, pre-production work from the planning, the creative side. Um, in major films they have to get the main actor first before um, they even start planning the real production. Concepts and rights are things like the ideas if it's from a book or rights for the music etc. The other part of the budget is below the line and this is all the real nitty-gritty bit where you're getting um, equipment and crew etc. So for this section we're just going to look at the equipment budget. So equipment budget will be things like uh, grip hire which is your tripods etc, camera hire, location and studio hire and editing facilities. It might be at this point as well you'll be going for your supporting actors who are commonly known as extras. Okay, There is some other parts of the budget, things like catering, you've got to feed your crew, you can't expect them to work for 12 hours and not have uh, any food or drinks. Marketing is really important in post-production, things like posters, uh, newspaper ads, print costs for that and even distribution, that's getting your films into cinemas through distribution companies. Okay, so let's get with the um, budget for equipment. Now what I suggest is you go to a company called CameraWorks and that's the web address there. This website um, breaks um, the budgets down into cameras like lenses, lighting, grips, audio and other accessories and you can get uh, prices for any of the equipment but what they also do is give you the spec. So here's the um, camera um, page and what you do here is you're getting it for per day, per week or two weeks. And obviously it's cheaper if you do it um, for a longer period of time but it's still pretty expensive for this kind of thing. Okay so what we'll have a look at is two cameras. So you're going to go to CameraWorks, find two cameras and compare pros and cons of each from the spec. Choose one and work out the cost for a three-day shoot. So here I've got two. I've got the Canon XF, £100 a day, and I've got the Sony FS7. Now these are the specs where you can actually find out um, the breakdown of the actual camera. The reason I would go for this one, it's 180 frames per second, which is very good if you're doing slow motion or very fast zoom shots. Again, the Canon's a good camera, but this is a better one. And you can see here all the uh, extras that you get, including cards, card readers, etc., smart grips. So 180 a day, this is probably the one I'd go for. So what's good then, you can put it into this document. Uh, this is on iLearn and you can download this. So I've done this bit, but you can put your own in. So we're looking at the Canon. So a three day hire is £300. The Sony, £180 per day. Three day hire, £540. And again here I've put the reason why I like the Sony. So what we can do is once we've got this budget, we can transfer it into our video budget and it will go in here. So you put in 150, three days, and then this will um, automatically start adding up for you. Put your logo here, make sure you've got your company logos. If it's a music video project, you could have three logos or four up there, depending how many people are working in the group. So once you've done the camera, we can start looking at the other things from lighting, 
grip location. So, and I've even put those in there so you can actually start filling that in. This, this uh, budget research can then be added to and added to. It could be that you might want to put props in there, costumes, etc. So, we can look at Studio Hire. This is a digital edit studio. You can see there it's got the two screens with the very good speakers. And this edit uh, dry hire, that's without a person to do the editing for you, is 180 a day. And if you go into this website, you'll find out what software and what's available. Another thing you can look at is green screen studio hire. Again, this one is giving you the offer for 645 for a day rate. So it's a rather large um, green screen studio they have. So get the prices for things like that. How many days would you film in a green screen? How many days do you think you need? And the last one you could have a look at is unusual spaces to film. This company called Higher Space have some quite good, uh, quite unusual um, places to film. Uh, you can look around their site, do some research and see if there's anything interesting there. Things like tube carriages, etc. But they're really quite some nice places. The other place which has sort of become quite useful if it's just for a very quick shoot is Airbnb. We've been looking at um, rooms and um, uh, apartments, and, uh, kitchens, bathrooms, etc. Some people will hire you their room for a, an hour or two hours, so or an afternoon to do filming, or a day hire. It can be done if you inquire, so that's quite handy as well. Okay, so um, get this filled in and uh, we'll see how far we get on all these different um, costs and then we'll put the costs into our video budget.